No company defines automotive performance better than CompCams. Founded in 1976, CompCams is the undisputed leader in camshaft technology. In this video, CompCams is going to help explain the basics of camshaft design and operation. Call it Camshaft 101. The camshaft being the heart of the engine, the most important function of the camshaft is the opening and closing of the valve. The benefits of the right camshaft in the application is increased horsepower, torque, and fuel economy. Of the four types of camshaft, the hydraulic flat tabbit camshaft, which has been our standard for over 40 years, is the least expensive. A solid flat tabbit camshaft, which deems from our muscle car era, makes more horsepower than the hydraulic flat tabbit camshaft, and is still low in cost. Another variety of camshaft is our hydraulic roller camshafts, more expensive than your hydraulic or solid flat tabbit camshafts, but the benefits far outweigh the cost. The power of the hydraulic rollers is second to none. It is also the easiest of the four types of camshafts as far as the maintenance is concerned. The mechanical roller makes the most power of all of our camshafts. With quicker ramp speeds and more high lift area, we're able to achieve more torque and horsepower throughout the torque curve. It's time to review some of the basic camshaft terminology, so get out your notebook and start writing. Lift refers to the amount of inches that the valve is opening up and down, and there are three terms you'll commonly hear. Cam lift, gross valve lift, and net valve lift. Cam lift is the maximum distance that cam will lift the lifter above the base circle of the camshaft. For example, a camshaft might have .350 inch lift. Gross valve lift is the cam lift multiplied by your rocker arm ratio. If you had a 1.6 ratio rocker, your .350 inch lift camshaft would produce .560 inch of gross valve lift. Net valve lift is the gross valve lift minus the valve lash that you set for a mechanical camshaft. So if you're running 20 thousandths of valve lash, your net valve lift in the previous example would be .540 inch. Duration refers to the total angle and camshaft degrees that your valves are open for. This determines what the power range would be. We'll review two types of duration. Duration at 50 and advertised duration. Duration at 50 refers to the duration measured in crank degrees from the point where the lifter rises up 50 thousandths of an inch from the base circle of the camshaft, from the opening side of the cam lobe to the closing side of the cam lobe where the lifter drops to 50 thousandths from the base circle. Advertised duration refers to the total duration of the camshaft measured at any point above the base circle, from the opening side of the cam lobe to the closing side. The last cam term you're likely to hear is lobe separation. This is the actual spacing of the intake and exhaust lobes from each other for the same cylinder. This is a fixed amount ground into the camshaft when it's manufactured. To make a proper camshaft selection, we need to know a lot about the application that it's going into. Type of car, transmission, gear ratios, rocker ratio, just to name a few. After the information has been gathered from the customer, then we can pinpoint the application that it's going to be used for, whether it be a drag race, circle track, marine, or street. This helps us determine the RPM to cam it for. Most customers call us with specific needs, whether it's an increase in RPM, torque, horsepower, or just the sound they're looking for in their camshaft. By now you should have a solid grasp on the camshaft and its functions. Choosing and selecting the correct camshaft for your performance engine is one of the most critical decisions you'll make when building your vehicle. Make sure you understand all the terms in this video, and don't hesitate to visit CompCam's website for more information. If you need immediate help, CompCams has trained technicians that can help you make that selection. Open six days a week, their cam helpline will make sure that you pick the right cam rather than just spinning your wheels.